station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Orbital ATK Cygnus is on its way to the space station for the fifth time. Packed with over 7,700 pounds of cargo, the unmanned craft blasted off atop an Atlas V on Tuesday from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The nighttime flight into space went flawlessly and Cygnus was ready to chase down the station. It's set to arrive on Saturday where Tim Coper and Tim Peak will be standing by to capture it with the station's robotic arm. You can watch that unfold by heading over to nasa.gov NTV. Meteors crash into Earth every once in a while, but we've always had to watch it happen from the ground. Until now, that is. The meteor payload has finally made it to space successfully and will soon be installed in the station's window observational research facility to make the first ever space-based observations of meteors entering Earth's atmosphere. Removing the interference of our atmosphere will allow scientists to fully analyze the chemical compositions of these space rocks, an important key to understanding how the planets in our solar system developed. This week, Sean wanted to know what type of experiment was on Cygnus that relates to sending humans to Mars. Well, one new piece of hardware could very well find itself on a future Mars mission. The Miniature Exercise Device, or MED2, is a lightweight, compact workout tool that also offers the powerful resistance needed to maintain strong muscles and bones in microgravity. Current machines on the station are very effective, but way too large and heavy for something like Orion where every pound counts. Weighing in at under 6% the mass of A-RED, the current resistive exercise device, and offering aerobic capabilities, MED2 is a demonstration of the tech that could be found on a future spaceship heading to Mars. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.